No, but I'm bad at this and no, it's not that I'm nervous. I'm bad at this even if I have to do it with my mom. No, don't worry, it's not gonna change. There's no way it can change. Okay, can you pitch us your movie? Oh, I have to say I'm the worst pitching films ever. I'm not being good at this game at all. But the film is about this 50-year-old woman who is during the 70s in Chile. And she goes to um, her beach house to do some renovations of the house. And while she's there, there's a priest of this, this beach town who's a very close friend of the family, and he asked her if um, she could help him with a guy he has. He's staying in the church with him. He's, uh, he presents this this guy as a, oh, how you say this? Um, I, I told you guys I was bad <laughs> pitching. But this is it's in a way the uh, how this woman crosses the line of her own a privileged life. She, she dares to see, to take a look at what's on the other side. If you could collaborate with the person of your choice, your dreams, who would it be? Why? I would have loved to have a chance to talk with Raul Ruiz. For me, it's like one of the best uh, most inspiring filmmakers ever. And of course, because he's Chilean, I mean, he lived a lot of his life in, in France. I don't know if he even might have felt totally Chilean. I think, I mean, I think he, he did, but he in a way for me is one of the fathers of, of Chilean. He was doing films in the 60s and 70s, right before the coup d'etat in Chile, then flew um, to France. And I think the the, the the films that he did in Chile right before leaving are so important uh, for for our uh, our film culture and industry. Who is the person who has influenced your career the most? The film that I'm showing now is inspired in my grandmother, and I think I was interested in my grandmother because I think that even if she was following all the parameters of what a woman should be in the 50s and the 60s. She got married at 18, she had three kids, she had a house, and things that were usually the things that a woman should do and should have. And But even though she went through all of this, then afterwards she decided to go to art school. And in a way the, the world opened in, in front of her eyes. At the same time, she felt she was too old to change her lives, and, and she felt it was too late. I think she left us, the people in, in the family, the love and, and sensibility to art. And I think that I, I really owe her all, I think. I mean, there's a lot that she had to go through no? to discover this world. Soy Manuela Martelli. Actriz y directora, y esta fue mi entrevista. Corte. <risa>